hi welcome everyone so today our session is on the brace frame that is a special kind of brace frame we call it the brb or buckling restrained brace frame uh, so first let's see what exactly is the brace frame uh, so the brace frame is a structural element or a structural system designed to resist the lateral force like wind or seismic and the members in the brace frame is uh, soap place so that it will disallow any lateral sway due to the lateral action of the force because of its diagonal arrangement just like a truss member okay so the base frame can be essentially classified as a concentric base frame and the eccentric base frame now in most of the cases in the building industry we generally come across the concentric base frame uh, the concentric one means uh, where the member of that brace frame uh, intersect at a particular node or in other words the centroid of each of the member passes through the same point whereas in case of eccentric brace frame the center line or the centroid of the member are not meeting at a same particular point so if you see this illustration you can see that the end nodes of the two members are having some space or some eccentricity so that means they are not meeting at a particular point and that's the reason it is known as the eccentric brace frame uh, the concentric brace frame can be further classified as ordinary or the special brace frame now the ordinary concentric brace frame uh, which is also known as the OCBF uh, do not have any extensive requirement regarding the member for connections and are frequently used in the area of low seismic zone on the other hand the special kind of concentric or the eccentric brace frame were later developed with the extensive design requirement and are frequently used in the area with high seismic risk so the purpose of the concentric or the eccentric brace frame uh, is to ensure the adequate ductility uh, that is by stretching without breaking or failing the member now the brbf that is the buckling resistant brace frame is typically a special kind of concentric brace frame so the buckling resistant brace frame is a structural steel frame that provides the lateral resistance to buckling particularly during the high seismic activity so the brf is as i mentioned is a, a special kind of concentric brace frame uh, in this case the buckling is not allowed um, within the sectional length of the member the buckling has been restrained by some arrangement so what actually happens in this kind of system so it consists of a slender steel core a very thin slender steel core uh, usually it is supposed to buckle due to the normal load compressive load but the same steel core has been encased by some concrete element uh, normally it's a motor uh, the purpose of this is to prevent the buckling uh, due to the member under the compressive load so you can see in this illustration it is like the system is having a very slender steel core and uh, there is a casing you can see a steel casing uh, inside which uh, a low friction material uh, it's a kind of specialized motor are grouted inside and the casing and the motor prohibits the steel core from buckling uh, when it is under compression so basically uh, this uh, yielding core or this thin slender core are having some unbonded uh, interface uh, with the motor so that when it experiences some design force there would be some slippage at the interface with the motor and it will undergo yielding because the buckling has been restricted by this encasement so basically by this feature or by this arrangement a significant amount of performance can be achieved because here we are not uh, buckling the member that means the member can uh, undergo inelastic deformation when it is under compression and also due to the load reversal uh, that means the member when it is under tension it can also stretch up and also yield 
so it's more like a controlled kind of uh, plastic deformation so if we compare the conventional bracing uh, then while we apply some lateral push then the member which is under compression in general it will buckle because buckling is the weakest uh, phenomena of a slender member uh, before it undergoes yielding but if we want to apply the buckling resistant brace frame instead of this conventional brace frame then it will behave like this while there is a same amount of lateral push due to the seismic activity uh, the the slender yielding core will shrink and will undergo inelastic deformation. So if you see the hysteresis loop of this system, uh, we have just compared it for both the system. One is for a buckling resistant brace frame and one is for some usual or conventional bracing system. Now in the conventional bracing system, you can see that uh, the hysteresis loop is not symmetric you can see because uh, this buckling phenomena is very much uh, you know it's not symmetric and when, once it is undergoing the compression then only it gets very unstable and it will buckle and uh, while it is under tension it's not necessary that it will again form some plastic or inelastic deformation and you can see the path uh, it's a very irregular pattern of uh, this hysteresis loop uh, whereas in the buckling resistant brace frame as it's a controlled kind of arrangement you can get a very symmetric uh, hysteresis loop uh, both for the tension as well as for the compression event so what are the advantages so we have understood this entire phenomena and entire um, theory behind the intention of this buckling resistant brace frame now the advantage of this BRB system is uh, first of all in the BRB system the designer can easily predict the concentrated uh, inelastic or the plastic zone because you have uh, deliberately made some encasement within some designated zone and obviously the yielding would be happening at that portion so you can easily predict the plastic zone and that would be very helpful for designer to design uh, the structure by predicting those plastic zones second is the buckling uh, resistant bracing system creates a symmetry in the resistance of the element uh, under the axial load of uh, strain and compression and therefore the full capacity of the bracing in strain and the pressure is used in the uh, structural framing system uh, in which the braces are used double that means uh, it can uh, perform very well both in uh, case of compression as well as in case of tension and the third uh, advantage is uh, by the symmetric hysteresis loop uh, the inelastic deformation that is through this yielding um, it absorbs a significant amount of uh, seismic energy and thus making the rest of the structure uh, thin uh, making the design much more uh, economical and much more cost effective and the final reason uh, we can say that as the buckling is disallowed so the bracing system is highly stable so you can understand that uh, the buckling system is nothing but it's a mathematical uh, instability that we say it's very much uh, it's highly unstable uh, means you you won't get any kind of uh, warning before it undergoes the buckling event so uh, this kind of structure where we are compressing or constricting the uh, buckling by this encasement we can get those bracing system highly stable now in ram structural system we have implemented this uh, buckling resistant uh, bracing system we have uh, some standard library of uh, this uh, buckling resistant brace uh, that we can directly apply in our uh, cross bracings and perform the analysis now one more important thing is like 
due to this high uh, ductility performance by this buckling resistant brace frame the AC code also suggests taking the response modification factor up to 8 that means you are uh, designing your structure by a very insignificant amount of the base shear values so higher the R value lower would be the base shear value so basically you are economizing your design of your existing building so let's see in RAM structural system how we can define the buckling resistant brace frame so this is a 3d space frame model that has been model in RAM structural system and this is the RAM frame inter interface. Now RAM structural system is a very intuitive and very powerful software for modeling and analyzing and then designing any kind of building structure like this. So in RAM structural system as I have mentioned that buckling restraint brace frame uh, library is already available and you can also define your own um, uh, input like uh, material property of those uh, yield core and so on so here if you go to the criteria then go to the buckling restraint you can see there are two different types of uh, buckling restrained uh, framing system one is the star uh, seismic and then another is core brace so if I click on this you can see here uh, you can define the yield strength uh, that is the FY maximum and FY minimum you can define some range and uh, you can define the clear uh, clearance uh, in between the lower and the upper portion of the column and beam and also you can modify the stiffness so you can use the calculated value and uh, you can override them if you want to define the stiffness of your own by using this option and the same way if I go to the buckling restrained core bracing from here you can see you can define the displacement amplification over the importance factor and also you can define the range of the yield strength now these are the overstrength parameters which are basically required while we want to determine the response modification factor uh, now here also we have the stiffness modifier if you want to override the calculated stiffness of that uh, yielding core or the entire bracing system uh, you can define uh, your own stiffness modifier to override the calculated value and here you can define some geometrical information like clearance information of the welded bolted or pinned so that program can accordingly determine exact a configuration of the buckling restraint base frame system and then you can perform the design so once you have done this if I zoom this one you can see here this is the core brace frame and if you want to assign it you can assign it from here go to the assigned braces then buckling restraint uh, we also have some generic uh, buckling restraint but these are some of the standard buckling restraint brace frame uh, library if you click on this one for example core brace frame then the same thing would appear but uh, you can you know change this global settings uh, now I want to show you how to assign the buckling restrained um, brace frame sectional information from the standard library now for this uh, let's take you to the RAM modeler now in the RAM modeler if I go here we have already defined some bracing system and here if I go to the layout braces then assign size then you can see we have all the standard uh, steel sections which are already provided by the respective uh, country code and the same we can find for the core bracings this is the core brace and these are all the standard geometrical shapes core BRB system so from here I have defined and assigned uh, to the respective bracing system and then you need to just come to the RAM framing system at here RAM frame 
and then you need to define some other criteria like yield value if there is something to be defined for the so let's perform the analysis So analysis has been performed really fast. So I could see the uh, response like displacement and I will choose the uh, lateral action, seismic action. So if I want to animate, okay. Now once you are done with this, you can come here to Ram Steel. Uh, this is basically for performing the um, lateral steel uh, components. For example, steel member like steel beam or steel column. So it will take care of all the lateral framing system and it will perform the design according to the selected code. So you can see the utilization ratio, it looks good. So we have selected one of the bracing. So this is the complete design report of that brace frame. And if you want to see the base shear and all, all you need to do, go to the report, uh, go to the analysis first. Report. And then you can go to the building uh, story share. Here you can see uh, the total story share. And from here you can determine the base share at the bottom. Okay. So this is all I have to demonstrate uh, for the implementation of the buckling restraint base frame in RAM structural system. So from now on, you can design your building by defining the base frame system and increase the overall building performance.